Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Rookie Outdoor Learners. So in the last video with um, the crabs in it, if you guys watched it, you saw that towards the end of it, I was, Haley said something about maybe doing a fry version of a fish with Doritos in it. And well, I got a mangrove snapper right there and two bags of Doritos right here. I am, <laughs> I have low expectations, but we're gonna see how it turns out, so. Um, just in case, got some mac and cheese and hush puppies too, so we'll see how it turns out, y'all. Um, and I'll show you step by step what I'm gonna do with it. Stay tuned. All right, Haley, we're about to bring your creation to life. How do, how do you feel about it? I'm excited. Yeah. All right, so you said you wanted the nacho cheese, not the Cool Ranch? Yeah. Or do we do them all together? Like, this is your venture creation. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Mary Rose? I don't know. We, we kind of discussed it a bit, but I feel like this could be good. Like together, they can go, right? So just, just, full, send. just full send all together. Yeah, all right, <laughs> cool. Well, that's the fish. It's not very much. All right. Can I have to hold this? Yeah, so hold that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut it so a little less than a little heavy. So when you have a whole fish like this, so that way you can easily dismantle it, put in little slits. Like that. So, <laughs> think, move. Haley. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's go Louisiana fish fry. And just. Are you making a hush puppy? Yes, I'm going to do that. Seriously? Where's, yeah, where's in. <laughs> <laughs> That's the happiest All right. I've ever seen you. <laughs> really now comes good. the fun part. All right, Haley, I need you to smash these like in the bag. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, you got to be part of the bread. Okay. You want to open this? That's probably really, really sad in this. That's so good. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be famous. Okay, you're gonna get a whole 30 views. <laughs> I want to be famous. Have you ever seen you that? Have a no. Yeah. I've already been on it. Me too. Sorry. <laughs> Is this small I'm enough to take out today? Alright. Even smaller. smaller. Keep, yeah, keep keep crunching those. And then I'm gonna bread this guy with a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna fry it and okay, see how it comes out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> No, I want to keep the skin on, just scales off. Nice. It actually tastes pretty good with the skin on. So does that mean I'm going to have issues eating it? No. Oh. Put as much as you think should go in there. That could be a risky game. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your idea, so and just... How much is this for? How much fish? Just that one fish. Like we're oh, gonna, go ahead. More, not I mean, cheese, less cool Well, yeah, I agree. That looks good. Does that mean that? I can eat the rest of this? I don't think <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> if you have any left over, send it my way with Mary Rose, not with Haley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boiling. That's for the mac and cheese. Alrighty. You know? Smelling it doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Only time will tell. Thing is, I wish I had a milk and an egg so that way it would like all stay together. You have milk? I have milk, but I don't have no egg. I wonder if he ever does. What about that egg kid that has eggs? Egg kid? <laughs> yeah, they introduced him as this kid has eggs. All right, we got the marinating there. Gotta put it in. It's so exciting. I have no clue how this is gonna turn out. Not I I wanna be with you there, but I just I don't know if I can be near. Alright, let's go let that cook for a little while, I guess. I hope Doritos don't like burn yeah, <laughs> really quickly. Because if they do, then that's not gonna be good. Yeah, that's, we're gonna try it on that one. If I had a ton of them, we would not be doing this. We'd be grilling them out. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mac and cheese is good. All done. There you go. So if you ever wanna know how to tell if fish is cooked, um, you can use a knife. I'm just gonna use my spatula. And just cut into it. Like, especially for people that are starting off. It can be kind of difficult. Cut into it and you can see 
if it's white and flaky throughout. If you see that it's still gray raw, but it took longer, it has that white flakiness, and it's good, just like that. The other side needs to cook a little bit better, but you can see that that side's done, it's all white and flaky, just like that. She's ready. So. One left, last thing left to do. Just yeah. a second here. All right, Haley, since it's your creation, you get to try it first. Where should I go first? Oh, uh, that's a pretty good spot. Shouldn't be. Well, we might have some bones. I don't know. We'll see. Just careful when you chew, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is the college kid experience right here. Oh, hop. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from burning your mouth though, Doritos good idea or bad idea? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah? I alright. Hot. It is really hot. <laughs> Maybe we should let it cool off for a little bit. That would probably would have been a good idea. Let's try it. <laughs> So y'all, cameraman screwed up. Uh, I completely deleted the last video footage at the very end there, or I just stopped recording. Something happened along the way where I didn't get the very last scene, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a closer rather than just end on that note. Um, but it was actually really good. Like um, the Doritos and the fish breading that I used just meshed together perfectly. And uh, I came into it, I was like, there's no way you put Doritos on fish. But uh, honestly, after doing that, I kind of want to try different Doritos on fish now uh, when frying it up. So a couple updates uh, for you guys to know. So hunting season's around the corner. I'm actually just about to buy my first climbing stand. Uh, so when I get a hold of that, I'm probably going to do a video of me trying to learn how to use it. Um, so that way people who have hunted before that know how to use climbers, you can have a good laugh at it. And then for people who are new to hunting, you can kind of learn what the do's and don'ts are from a beginner's uh, perspective. So I'm excited to mess around with that. I got a tree in mind that I'm going to be using. Um, so that'll be pretty exciting. I'll go. There's one more thing I have to say to y'all, and that is thank you guys so much for all of your support and for you know clicking on this video and possibly other videos. Um, a couple of my videos have actually just gotten to 300 views, which is super exciting. Uh, I would have never thought that within a handful of videos I would have gotten that many. So thank you guys so much. I'm also getting near 50 subscribers, so if you can subscribe right now to help me get to that number, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who already are subscribed, uh, thank you guys for all of your support and everything. So that you guys have given, you know, can't thank you guys enough for that. But um, that's all I got for y'all. Obviously, if you have anything, put it down in the comments below. Um, any other good recipes to try, anything like that, put them down below. I want to read them. So uh, catch you guys in the next episode, and hope you guys have a great day. Bye.